hello and welcome to my china a china where we make structural engineering design simple and easy my name is Olodu Konyedi and i'm your host i want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our china and everyone sending us encouraging words we really really appreciate you and those who are yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button hit that like button and that's the way you can get more videos when we put it out and also you are showing us that you appreciate what we are doing thank you very much we got a very encouraging word from frank pay i am frank pay from liberia thank you pay uh, from liberia you said thanks for this great job very helpful video i appreciate that the videos are helpful we have luzia luzia you didn't tell us where you are commenting from but i appreciate your comment you said please don't give up continue with the good work a lot of people are just knowing about protest structure and your china will boom soon thank you for that i appreciate you very very much i appreciate that thank you uh, luzia that was very encouraging we have austin updates austin updates you said thank you very much but please how do I detail slab in proto structure and AutoCAD from Ghana? Austin update from Ghana. We will be talking about that. Uh, if you check our previous videos, I have explained about that and I the the, the reason that I gave is proto detail slab detail is not really really good i personally i i i don't like how it brings out is detailing so if you check our previous video i put out um, my autocad file the one how i detail my my um design how i bring out my design my construction drawing uh, you can request and you get the the file the AutoCAD file and you look at my slab and everything and you learn from there please check our previous videos I think uh, some some of them I wrote on the description where you can get that file and also if if you've gone through you can also request for our um, online training course it's just 5,000 Naira you can do that and you will really really gain a lot from it so how do we do that after you've you've um, done your settings please check our previous video i won't be explaining all that but i just show you after you've checked your settings for your slab um, design settings you you've checked your analysis for your your work for your analysis for the editing material please check the previous videos i won't be going into that today i won't be going into that today so so if you've gone to edit material please check our previous video i won't be going into that so if you check that and if you are done you come to slab strip once you click on your slab strip this will pop for internal section if you are trying to cut through internally you take this and this if you are doing that so but if we are doing from end to end so we pick this and this but if it's a cantilever let's assume there's a cantilever here so you start with this and if there's no cantilever is an end um, end condition you click this so whatever the condition at the start you pick this whatever the condition at the end we pick this so click and hold down control for your 
your arrow to be straight you click on it it's done this you click you say two you click then when you are coming to your y y direction change this to y then change it to one so that you start click hold down click hold down click hold down so if you look it has detailed your work if you look at it this is it this is it so this is how you detail your work in in um, prota prota structure but if you check for the autocad please check our previous videos on how to produce work uh, construction structural working drawing so please check our previous video we've done all that we've done all that so this is how you detail your slab depending on the end condition you use this and this is how you detail your slab so if you check carefully if you check carefully so if you check carefully it's they are coinciding so if you have exported to autocad you can easily move any of the write-ups that are conflicting so you manually move them and arrange them so that it becomes neat but there are times where if you do this you won't see these um, numbers of, of reinforcement how do you solve that you come to settings you go to slab setting come to view then you if this is if, if this is like this and you're not seeing the numbers you you click on this as in you check on this hide number of bars in the label if it's checked unchecked if it's not checked you you check it once you do that this is what you get so we'll stop here for now and if you are yet to still subscribe and you are benefiting from our training please hit that subscribe button so that you can encourage us and also get uh, notified when we put up another video so thank you and remain blessed